Here are 7 strategies from playing from the low ground, presented by Fortnite Master. After making so many videos on topics like building tricks and the advantages of high ground, we've received a handful of requests to make a video on playing from the low ground. While we've made one before, we felt that it wasn't really to our desired standards, so we've decided to tackle this topic again. Knowing how to play from low ground is an essential skill, because building is not always an option. Whether it's early game, you're running low on mats, or other players are just way too good at keeping height. And if used correctly, low ground tactics and peaks can be extremely effective. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. When you're on the low ground, don't give the player on the high ground free shots by running around in the open. Take advantage of builds for cover. Use them to break line of sight with enemies and force them to take a different angle or drop down. This is one of the only few ways that a person on the low ground can control the fight and force the player with the height to react. One good way to do this is sticking close to a wall, forcing your opponent to build or jump almost directly above you in order to get an angle. Or let's say some players are on top of a mountain holding the high ground. Sometimes you can simply break the line of sight by hugging the side of the mountain, then move around it to build up from a different side, or choose to disengage safely. Get creative with this. Try to use line of sight to force the player on the high ground to reposition or take an awkward angle. If you're gonna learn to be a true low ground warrior, then you're gonna learn the five D's of dodgeball. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. If you master the five D's, no amount of bullets on earth can hit you. In other words, make it hard for the player on the high ground to track your location. If you're constantly ducking and weaving in and out of buildings or tunneling around, it'll make it harder for the enemy to know exactly where you are. It's much easier to get the jump on them or even retake height when they're busy trying to find you. This tactic is kind of situational, however, as it requires there to be a decent amount of builds or natural cover on the low ground for you to duck in and out of. You can, of course, create these builds yourself by tunneling around, but it works much better if there was a big build fight or some pre-existing buildings for you to use. Basically, use the cover to constantly reposition, take unexpected angles, and make it difficult for the enemy to get the drop on you. Just because an enemy is on the high ground doesn't mean you have to build up to them. Breaking the foundation of a building or shooting the enemies down from high ground can both be good options, depending on the situation. If a build fight feels like it just keeps going up with any real damage dealt to either player, you can always choose to drop down and look for weak points in the structure. Here are a couple of tips if you're going to do this. First, most good players will know when you drop down, and they'll do the same, so you'll most likely have to break one or two builds before you need to worry about the enemy dropping on you. Look for the weakest point in a structure to break. It doesn't necessarily have to be on ground level, and if you break builds, make sure you stop every couple of hits to listen for the opponent dropping down. Otherwise, you'll become a pretty easy target for any good player. Second, the goal of knocking down a build fight doesn't always have to be to kill the enemy with fall damage. You can easily knock down a structure and prepare to build up for free high ground as the enemy is falling, or even shoot them on the way down if you know they're low. Shooting enemies off of high ground is similar in the sense that you probably won't have time to shoot out more than two builds before the enemy takes advantage of the situation, so you likely won't be able to shoot out the base of a 1x1 without severe consequences. You can, however, afford to shoot out one or maybe two platforms to quickly knock down an enemy, giving you a second to get a shot off or build up when they fall down and or catch themselves. If you're gonna shoot an enemy from the low ground, make sure they don't have an angle to shoot you back. You can make an angle to shoot builds without exposing yourself through edits and cover, like turtling, then editing a window to shoot builds straight ahead, while blocking any angles from high ground. You just need to play around with it. But remember, you likely won't have time to shoot more than half a clip before it becomes dangerous. Now, we're going to move into some specific low ground peaks that will help you surprise your opponents with unexpected angles. The first peak involves jumping to the side after an opponent ramps up in front of you or above you, shooting them mid-air, then catching yourself with floors, or just falling if you're low enough to avoid fall damage. This peak is great at catching players off guard, as they typically won't expect you to jump to the side, let alone shoot them while flying through the air. You need to have pretty good aim to pull this off, however, because it usually requires you to whip around at least 90 degrees, then hit an enemy while falling. Credit to Martaz for bringing this next peak to our attention. The backstep peak is useful when you and another player are ramping towards each other, but they secure height first and block you with a floor slash pyramid. At this point, most players will expect you to do one of a few things. Turn and double ramp up, make a side jump and build for height, or box yourself in. Instead of playing to their expectations, you can get a good peak angle by walking backwards and jumping to peak over the floor slash pyramid. 
You can easily get a chunky shotgun shot on your opponent by doing this, as they'll likely be looking elsewhere, expecting you to do something conventional, as many players may even overpeak their angle to prepare you to build up, making themselves an easy target. This next peak is something you can do when ramping up to retake the high ground. Instead of a double ramp retake into a 180 or 90s, you can turn around early to check your enemy's position, and if they're exposed, jump up and peek just above your top ramp to get a shot. Many players won't expect you to do this and may leave themselves exposed and you only have to show a small part of your upper body for this peak, so it's not too risky. Finally, you can get decent shots from the low ground by simply predicting where the enemy is going to peak and trading back. We only recommend doing this when you know the other player is on low health or doesn't have mass to build. This does require some good game sense and reaction time, but when you get the feeling for it, it's a great tool for finishing off players that are low or getting quick trades without having to build up. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be alerted whenever we release a new video. If you love our content, feel free to share it with your friends, family, distant relatives, your dog, or any other loved ones. From all of us at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.